it's that period of the beginning of morning, nautical twilight, where the sun is still below the horizon. But there's that glow on the horizon, the glow that clearly the sun is coming up mm. off to the southeast. There's a bit of dew. It's a, a fresh September morning, cool, very, very cool compared to the afternoons, which are still warm. It still has a smell of summer wafting in from the fields around the town. The smell of, the smell of vines ripening, of, of grape vines on the sides of the hills. And you can smell it as it sinks into the earth with that damp, moist smell. And the two of you walk outside. And the, the streets, they're cobbled, but very quiet. I mean, almost picturesque in a gray, mottled kind of way with the sky, just a, that, that shade of ultramarine blue and a little bit of gold and orange on the horizon. <clears throat> you do see Kip outside. I walk up to him and just stand next to him for a bit. I'll say, um, do you see all the beauty around us, Matthias? The sky, I do. The, the sky, the, the, the colors of the morning and the smell of the earth and the life that the earth brings. And yet, behind the walls, behind us, it is the stench of death and, and, and terror. And I start to question now, like we, we did what we could to save her, but there was no saving her. You know, the Baron knew this, I think Balder knew this, but there was a moment there where it almost seemed like they enjoyed it where they reveled in it. That is not what, what I want. I, like, there's a moment of revenge in my life that I am trying to seek out to, to pay back all those that were, their, their lives were cut short and, and, and taken by, by evil. And, and Ghazi is, is doing such things, killing innocent people, uh, people like this poor girl. And, and yet the, the hopelessness that I feel when we try to save someone innocent. And there's nothing that we, there's nothing, nothing that we can do. Oh, we're too late. And it is just, it is a hard thing to, to keep going sometimes. And, and then I wonder, are we even doing the right thing? Like, in that tavern, just now, I mean, everybody was a monster, not just her. The only difference was, she didn't have a choice. This is something I have had to consider on my own. There is no way that we can overcome every evil. In many ways, it's almost the way of the world that we will not. This is something I struggled with for a long time, but ultimately, What place is there for any of the good things in the world if, the, if we cannot appreciate them? Aye, well... Without... Without the things that we dread or fear, would everything else 
have the same value. 